Welcome to Tools to Sparks, where today we are reviewing these Milwaukee spirit levels, and there's a whole family of them. Let's see. So this is the daddy, here's the mummy, and here's the baby. Here's little red, <laughs> here's little red riding hood. Welcome to this family of four spirit levels. And today we're going to just take a look, talk you through their basic features. If you haven't subscribed already, please first click that subscribe button because you're going to be rewarded with some excellent content coming up over the coming months. And if you hit the notification bell, then you won't miss out on future videos. And don't do it now, but if you do enjoy this video and my stupid voice, maybe you hit the like button as well to say thank you for the video. Or don't, it's fine. And you can't hit the dislike button because it doesn't exist anymore. So, <laughs> welcome to Tools Sparks, where today we're reviewing these Milwaukee Red Stick spirit levels. Why is it called a red stick? Well, because it's red and it looks a bit like a stick. But these aren't just any old spirit levels. These are the daddy of spirit levels. And I'm going to talk to you about why that is. So, first of all, at first glance, and this is the first time, this is literally the first time I'm holding this, by the way, just to let you know, this is a completely unbiased opening review. I've never held one of these before in my hand, and I can say that this feels very, very nice. It feels so weighty and solid. It's not hollow, you know, like some spirit levels, they're hollow, so they're sort of like aluminium casing and they're hollow inside. This is solid. Can you hear that? Sounds like an oak door. That's because these are solid and heavy. They've got the various little levels in them. They've got some other interesting features too. So they are magnetic. And they're not just any old magnets in these things. They've got amplified rare earth magnets inside. What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about amplified rare earth magnets and why they make this very special. So I'm going to talk you through the little features on this first because what I find, I know as blokes we're not supposed to read instructions, but this is the most blokish kind of instructions you can ever get basically because it's just pictures, right? But it tells you some vital information about this particular level, like it's got a shockproof vial. You see, I would have never known that if I hadn't have read the instructions. It's got an aluminium box. Ah, oh, wow. The spirit level is two times amplified inside. Now, I've never seen that in a spirit level before. It's also UV resistant, so it means that, you know, it's not going to fade or anything with, with the, the sun shining on it. It's got a 30-year accuracy guarantee. And that's something worth talking about because... With tools, let's face it, there's two options. You can buy cheap and buy the same thing every couple of years or even less. Or you can buy one high quality tool that's going to last you basically a lifetime. And if you have, you know, in your shed or something, any of your granddad's old leftover tools, you'll know what I mean. Like maybe a granddad's hammer or something like that, you know, solid, built to last. Well, these kind of tools are also built to last, which I do like. I think that we live in too much of a throwaway society these days and that we should really buy stuff that's going to last a long time. The magnified bubble is interesting because obviously that helps you to see it better from a further further distance. Um, and it's yeah built to be accurate and strong. So this is a 24 inch or um, 61, 61 centimetres. So I think these are probably made for the American market because, you know, 24 inch, it's a nice round number, isn't it, for Americans, whereas 61 centimetres, they've obviously, you know, had to translate it into terms that we British people will understand. In terms of accuracy there, the guarantee is that it's accurate to within half a millimetre per metre, which is quite an impressive um, thing to be able to say. And these, presumably, are the magnets. So, let's, yeah, that is definitely a magnet right there. So, that is going to magnetise it to metal, which if you are the kind of person who does, like, metal stud and stuff like that, then this is obviously very handy. Now, as electricians, we're probably not going to be installing metal stud very often, but if you're installing metal distribution boards in commercial premises, for example, or even a consumer unit, now they're metal and these two 
magnets are perfectly spaced to put on top of a standard consumer unit plonk that on top there and you've got a very accurate level measure now okay probably this is slightly overkill for you getting your consumer unit level you might want to use a smaller level than that but nice to know that those magnets are there anyway uh, you've got the holes here the hole there um, so there's probably some kind of weird short YouTube videos that you can watch about what that hole is for. So let me know in the comments what, what your thoughts are about what that hole is useful for. This one is basically very similar, but slightly smaller. So I'm not going to go into that much detail about that. It, it is what it is. It's level. But again, it feels like really high quality. And this is a 16 inch or 41 centimeters long level. Being perfectly honest, as an electrician, this is probably more the kind of size that I would use on a regular basis. Maybe not this one so much. And then we've got the baby level. So we've done the daddy and the mummy. Now we've got the baby. And this is where, you know, things start to get really exciting as an electrician because torpedo levels are the kind of levels that we do regularly use. So I'm going to crack this open. I should call this channel Brutal Unboxing. <laughs> How to badly unbox something. Wow, okay. Now I've got to admit that is really, really nice. That is proper solid die cast aluminium. It's just, it just feels amazing quality. Best feeling quality wise of a boat level or torpedo level, should I say, um, that, that I've ever felt really. So. Yeah, that is really nice. It's Again, it's heavy. It's got some nice weight to it. It's got magnets on the top here, or obviously the bottom, depending on how you how you want to use it. Um, three different levels inside. As far as I can see, it's just a really nice torpedo level. But I'm sure if I read the instructions, I'll learn a little bit more. So it says it's got four amplified rare earth magnets in it. It's got, um, yeah, solid aluminium. And it's got a 10 year accuracy guarantee. So not quite as much as the 30 year accuracy guarantee of the larger ones, but still a very decent guarantee to it. And then little red riding hood came along and um, she left a little present too, which is this, it's the strong uh, pocket level. And again, it feels heavy, you know, I've got a pocket level, which is just a Stanley or Stabila one, I think, uh, but it's not, you know, it doesn't feel anything like this. So let's crack this open and see what we've got. If you could see my face when I'm trying to unbox these, it's quite hilarious. Okay, there we go. Sharp sight, vile technology. One thing I do find hilarious is the branding departments of these companies, the, the, the phraseology that they come up with to name their little technologies and stuff, they call this sharp sight vile technology. I wonder how much they paid someone to come up with that name. It's just absolutely nuts. But obviously they have invested heavily into making this the best vile that ever exists for a, for a level. And what I love about it again, is it just feels such good quality. I wish you could feel the weight of that. Honestly, it is like, it's something else. I've never felt a little pocket level of this kind of weight. And it's again, it's because it's die cast aluminum. You know, that is what makes a difference. But you've got a magnet on the side, two magnets on the bottom. So you could put this inside a back box for example, and it'll magnetize into the corner of the back box and you can make sure it's level. You could put it on the top of the back box, you'll make sure it's level. It's just a really, really nice thing. Now, let's be honest, you could spend a few quid and get a really cheap one and it will do pretty much the same job. But if you take pride in your work and you take pride in your tools, these pieces are very nice pieces to have in your tool collection and they are gonna last a long time. So maybe worth an investment, I'll let you guys decide. But either way, thank you for watching. Head to the link in the description where you can get all of these products for yourself. And why not stay along, grab a cup of tea and watch a couple more videos because we've got a whole ream of tool videos about the amazing tools that we like to share with you. And we'd love you to join, stay for the ride. Enjoy being a subscriber. Hit the notification bell, hit the like button, share the video out all of that stuff. But either way, we just appreciate you watching. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.